Ho! Hey everybody, it's Sean Teacher again. I thought, why not read a book about the artist Grant Wood. This is a scholastic book written and illustrated by Mike Venezia. And it's about the artist Grant Wood. Mmm. Looks interesting, huh? Oh, I think I've seen this one before. Hmm. Let's get into it and see what it says. Ah. Grant Wood was born on a farm near the small town of Anamosa, Iowa in 1891. By painting simple scenes of the land and people he knew best, he helped create an important all-American style of art. Grant Wood's paintings show the love he had for the people and customs of the Midwestern United States. Oh, look at that long painting. It looks like a family enjoying a meal. It's called Dinner for Themselves by Grant Wood. Grant particularly loved the farmland of Iowa. While growing up, he enjoyed feeling the soft, warm soil between his toes as he walked barefoot through the fields. In his painting, Young Corn, this one here, it seems like the round, friendly hills are protecting the farmer and his children while they work the fields. the farmer. His children are there. Hi. During Grant Wood's time, other artists like John Stuart Curry and Thomas Hart Benton also began painting pictures of activities in the Midwestern regions where they lived. This was one reason their style of art became known as regionalism. This is called Stone City, Iowa. And this one is Tornado. This one's called Boomtown. Grant Wood showed an interest in art at a very early age. He often drew pictures with the burnt sticks his mother gave him from her stove. Even though Grant drew pictures every chance he got, everyone thought he'd grow up to be a farmer, like his father. Grant seemed to enjoy his farm chores and had his own goats, chickens, ducks, and turkeys. This is Grant's dad. He says, I never saw anything like this before. This is amazing. It must mean Grant wants to be a farmer when he grows up. I don't know. I think he may get that wrong. Anyway. When Grant was ten years old, a very sad thing happened to him. His father died, and his mother found that it was too difficult to keep the farm running. 
she decided to move her family to the nearby city of Cedar Rapids. It was a hard move for Grant. He missed his farm pets and felt out of place in the new city school. Some of the kids even made fun of him. See, he's barefooted. She's, Look, the new farm kid's all dressed up today. How can you tell? Because he polished his toenails. <laughs> oh, they're bad. Oh, they're bad. And see, Grant's, Grant's got his pet chicken with him. See the chicken? Because of his good sense of humor and his talent for drawing, things eventually got better for Grant. In high school, he made friends and was always busy working on projects like designing scenery for school plays and drawing pictures for the school paper and yearbook. After he graduated in 1910, Grant did a lot of different things. He took art classes, taught art, made jewelry, learned carpentry, decorated people's houses, and cared for his mother and his sister, Nan. He loved gadgets and making things. He worked slowly and carefully at all his crafts. He was even able to use his artistic talent when he joined the army in World War I. His job was to paint camouflage on tanks and cannons. Here's a tank and a cannon and an ambulance. There's a sergeant. Sergeant! Who's responsible for this? Must be Private Wood, sir. He painted the tank like a cow. That's funny. During this time, American art students were often encouraged to study and paint in the style of the 19th century French Impressionist artists. In 1920, Grant decided to travel to Europe to study artists like Pierre Bonnard, Alfred Seisley, and Camille Pesachlo. It's easy to see the influence in these precious artists had on him. Grant thought his paintings were getting pretty good, but he felt something important was missing from them. He wanted to find a style that better fit his careful way of working. On a trip to Germany, Grant saw the works of some old master painters of the 15th century. He became interested in the way artists like Albrecht Dürer and Hans Memling painted everyday people clearly and simply using smooth, carefully blended brush strokes. This was much different from the Impressionists who created an impression of a scene by putting their paint on more thickly with quick brush strokes. This is uh, uh, Hans Memling. And you'll be able to see how it looks like what he did later. Grant also liked the way the old masters took time to paint the background detail and decorative clothing of the day. Woman with plants. Grant Wood did this in 1929. It was soon after his trip to Germany that Grant found a way to paint that was all his own. He decided to paint the subjects he knew and loved 
using some of the simplest ideas of the old European masters. Grant realized that the scenes of people and places he knew while growing up were as beautiful and important as anything he had seen in Europe. In Woman with Plants, it's this one, Woman with Plants, Grant painted his mother, oh, that's his mother, as a strong and loving frontier woman. He placed her in a farm landscape and paid special attention to the decorative stitching on her dress, the cameo around her neck, the potted plant, and other details that were important to her. People all over Iowa were proud of Grant's portrait of his mother. It was one of the first paintings about the Midwest that seemed like it was done by someone who really knew and understood the people there. Grant kept working on his new style and soon painted his most famous picture, American Gothic. One day, while Grant was looking for something interesting to paint, he discovered a farmhouse with an unusual window. See the window? The arch-shaped window was based on a style of European architecture from the Middle Ages called Gothic architecture. Grant liked the contrast of a European window on an American house. After he made sketches of the house, Grant looked for just the right people to go with it. He thought his family dentist and his own sister Nan would be perfect for the farmer and his daughter. So a lot of people think this is a man and his wife, but no! This is a farmer, and this is his daughter that's becoming too old to get married. She doesn't look happy, but he's got a pitchfork, doesn't he? Mm-hmm. The really cool thing is that's his sister, and that's his dentist. Grant entered American Gothic in a big show at the Art Institute of Chicago and won third place prize. People all over America loved the newspaper pictures they saw of it. So this is by Jean Moreau and this is by Vasily Kandinsky. Not at all like uh, Grant Wood, huh? Soon, Grant's paintings be started to become very popular. One reason for this was that many people felt Grant's art was easier to understand. Hmm, I don't get it. Hmm, I don't get it. than a lot of the new modern art being done at the time by artists like Vasily Kandinsky and Joan Miro. Another reason Grant's paintings became so popular was that they came along during a rough time in history known as the Great Depression. The Depression caused many people to lose their jobs and savings. It made people feel better to look at Grant Wood's paintings of beautiful farmlands and proud, hard-working families who helped make America great. This painting is called Fall Planting. It's pretty. This 
one is called The Midnight Ride of Paul Revere. Here's Paul Revere. Grant also painted pictures of famous American legends. While growing up, he had loved the stories he heard about George Washington and Paul Revere. In Midnight Ride of Paul Revere, Grant showed the story as he imagined it as a child. He painted broccoli-shaped trees and toy-like houses. The roads go off into the background and seem to glow in the dark. Grant gave his painting an almost fairy tale look. Paul Revere's horse even looks more like a wooden rocking horse than a real horse. Grant was very clever and was an excellent craftsman. He not only painted, but also made prints, drawings, sculptures, and book illustrations. Grant also started an art colony and designed one of the largest stained glass windows ever made. So this is the Veterans Memorial Building window. And here is Grant Wood talking about George Washington cutting down the cherry tree. After searching the art centers of Europe, Grant had finally realized that the best place to cre art, create art was right in his own backyard. To Grant Wood, there really was no place like home. This is called Spring in Town. There's a picture of his sister and his dentist. When Grant Wood painted American Gothic, he was just having fun, showing the kind of people he had known all his life. He was surprised when it got so much attention. Everyone seemed to have an opinion about it. Some people thought Grant was making fun of farmers, while others thought he was honoring them. One reason American Gothic has become so popular is that very often people see something in it that reminds them of themselves. Well, what a good book, huh? Oh. So this was Grant Wood, and it was written and illustrated by Mike Venezia. Okay, this is Sean Teacher, signing out. Bye-bye.